ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, this is the new speed presented to you by Ladies Like and Survivor. Follow, follow the beat, follow the beat from the studio to the street. Info with the flow, keep you sharp and in the know. Sit back, relax, enjoy the news, follow. Espionage is defined as the practice of spying to obtain information. It is reported that they had enough equipment to mess up Kenya's communication system. The suspected are being interrogated to establish their mission. We even brought in experts to help in our decision, said the Director of Criminal Investigation Department. They arrest started first week of December when a computer caught on fire, taking a soul within the blazing apartment. Kenya's foreign minister commanded Chinese government cooperation to dare. Chinese top diplomat was even called to check if Beijing is being linked to this unfortunate troll. The equipment was capable of infiltrating bank accounts and government servers. They were also involved in money laundering. They were not just internet servers. Who knows what they were after? There are a lot of questions. We just have to wait for the future answers. There's so much that comes to mind when we hear the word prison, like punishment, correction, and rehabilitation. Prisoners living in terribly inhumane conditions, but some prisons are not party to this imagination. Sable Prison is a rehabilitation center in the Philippines that rehabilitates with choreographed dance routines. In 2007, a record was set by the Sable inmates. Their thriller dance version was the most watched on the internet. Halden Prison in Norway is a five-star facility. It has fully furnished cells with all the amenities, guest rooms for visiting families and a sound studio. And yet the prison handles hardcore criminals. San Pedro prison in Bolivia has become a tourist attraction. The prison with no guards is split into class sections. It is run by prisoners who enforce the law themselves and their families and markets along with the jail cells. But Stoy prison in Norway sits on an island of its own where inmates retire to their private cottages at dawn. Every inmate works five days a week from morning to evening and can enjoy activities like horse riding and skiing. It's an interesting look at how society finds a grey area in which to operate to correct and awful behavior. Circumcision is a tradition with a mission. Let's hear from Big Ben, our reporter for the rest. As the year ends in the rush, circumcision is on the rise. The Bagesu perform riches during the last month of the year in the ritual called Imbalu, through which Gishu boys learn more about their culture. Circumcision started way back in the tale of a Magisu man who was summoned by the council of elders for stealing other men's wives, making them his property. He was summoned to circumcision as a punishment, but instead he became more famous than expected. He was recognized more powerful and loved by all the women, which impressed his fellow Gishu men to do circumcision. Imbalu is held during what the Kishus call the even years in a ritual place called Bumutoto Grounds in a personal right of passage to manhood between the age of 16 to 26 years. The initiator's outfit is designed by the elders dressed in animal skin and ash painted faces accompanied by a crew of encouraging friends singing and dancing Kedodi the Bagisu dance of pride regardless of other African areas where circumcision is carried out indoors. The Bagisu declared it a public ceremony allowing even tourists to attend the ceremony where the circumciser makes three bold cuts, removing the private organ for a skin before the whistle is blown. Crying during the process would mean cowardice, thus forbidden. I am Big Ben Umumasaba Sukuya Namon Bear reporting for Newsbeat, Mali. Thank you, Big Ben Umumasaba, for that report. Shortage of women in the West Indian region has fueled the trafficking of many young women. The young girls are kidnapped and sold off at the price. The Indian culture's preference to sons is deep rooted and transcends all region and castes. Girls are treated as unwelcome members of the family because they are seen as expensive when it comes to dowry. After a decade of elective abortion of female fetuses, the men in Western India are much in excess. Traffickers are capitalized on the female shortages to recruit and kidnap young women from their villages in a culture which sees the birth of a daughter as a curse. The ultrasound technology which reveals the sex of the fetus has also contributed to the event balance in sex ratios, a cycle influenced by poverty and medical intervention. Families in search of wives are turning to traffickers for help. The shortage of women has also led to traffickers for help. This has also led to wife sharing and rape in a country where marriage is much sought after institution. India is a victim of its own sex selective termination. That was the news on the beat. Next week will be another hit. Still let us lie. And survivor. Reporting live and direct with love and respect. Follow the beat, follow the beat, follow the beat, follow the beat. Follow the beat. Follow the beat, follow the beat, follow the beat, follow the beat. Follow the beat. Follow the beat.